I've lived here long enough that I saw the whole Monster Hunter craze take off with like Portable Second and Portable Third and everybody in the train playing Monster Hunter on the PSP. And it was huge. And the thing was, I for some reason, I never got into it. And I also, when I looked into it once, it was the same thing with programming, where I had bad information in my head about what it was, um, where I thought programming was all, you know, math and writing numbers and stuff. I thought that Monster Hunter was a game that you could only play with friends and that it's not fun to play alone. And I doubt just wasn't me. I didn't have a huge social life when I was out here at the time. You know, I was working and and that was about it. Um, so I never touched it. Uh, until I heard my good friends at the 8-4 podcast talking about Monster Hunter. And I remember them talking about a specific hunt with a large monster, Jen Moran. And I said, this sounds so cool. These are people who I know and I like, and I, you know, they are absolutely enthralled with this franchise. So I was like, I'm going to give this the honest try. So when Monster Hunter 3G came out here for the 3DS in Japan, I bought it. I was like, this is it. I'm going to give it a good shot and see if I like it. And I played it for a week and I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember going out for lunch with a coworker and telling him I was going to sell the game and I wasn't very happy with it. And he's like, well, can you explain the game to me? And Because he had played Monster Hunter in the past. And he's like, no, 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 it's not an action game. It's a hunting game. And so he tried to define the core loop of the game better to me because the game now is very good at it, but back then it, it didn't really tell you how to play the game. Hmm. So hmm. once I had was armed with the right information, I went back in there, tried the game again for five more hours, and it clicked. And man, did it click hard. It's like my obsession with kanji, where you know, I became obsessed with the game. I played it constantly 